Every man must know how to destroy a woman's ego. Some people will call this toxic, but they don't live in reality. You see, almost every woman has an inflated ego because of simps online. She has been worshipped and getting attention as if she is the most, as your creature walking this planet treat it like a goddess, and showered with praise only for existing. Think about that for a second. How would you feel if you were worshipped every day for no reason? Your ego would get out of control and you would become cocky. Here is the reality. If you don't know how to humble a woman, you will be treated like any other sin. She will not know the difference between you or any one of her worshippers in this video. We will go over nine rules to destroy her ego number one. You are superior if you are a hard-working man that is always improved, moving, you should feel superior to women that do nothing with their lives except trying to look good. It's natural to feel this way, and it's a necessity for destroying her oversized ego. People will say this is toxic, but here is the truth. Women look at most guys as their inferior. She considers simps and average guys to be beneath her level. However, it is only when the tables turn and a man feels superior that people will call it toxic. At the same time, women are hypergamous. This means that they are innately attracted to and gravitate towards guys that are better than them. If she feels like you are her equal or below her level, she will lose interest in you. Listen, the politically correct thing to say is that we are all equal and we should see each other that way. The reality is that it's unnatural to consider someone your equal. If you outperform the person in life, imagine going to the gym and training like an animal. After that, working your job and doing a side hustle, would you consider a lazy bum that is playing video games and fapping all day to be, to be your equal? You could say you do if you want to be politically correct, but deep down you don't. It's the same for an attractive woman that has nothing else to offer. Sure, she may look good and that has value to a man, but it's nothing compared to the daily effort and hard work many gods put in when you feel superior. You will both consciously and subconsciously regard her as nothing special or her life. She has been put on a pedestal. But this might be the first time someone doesn't do it. It will deflate her ego and bring her back to reality. Number two. Do not seek her validation. Feminine that they seek Many validation from girls. Go. They will ask her what she thinks about his gains, his hair, or perhaps something else about his looks. Some guys will even ask a girl if she loves him. If you do this, you are not behaving as a man. But that's a little worm. Any masculine and confident man would never do this. There is no need for him to seek validation from women, as he is confident within himself. He does not fish for her compliments or wonder what she thinks about every little thing seeking approval from a woman is the number one way to inflate her ego to the moon. Leave craving for approval to women number three. Do not always validate her looks. Women get countless compliments from people every day. You are no different from the next guy. If you always tell her how pretty she is, or if you sent her an emoji with hard eyes. In fact, this makes you one of the other million guys that are standing in line pathetic when all other men put her on a pedestal and compliment her. There exists one high-value man that doesn't do it. She will pick up on it quickly and realize that all those desperate elements she's been receiving are worthless. Do not misunderstand it. I am not saying you need to play mind games and never compliment a woman, but when you compliment her based on something she hasn't earned, you are putting yourself in the same box as all the other guys that compliment her every day. Instead, it's better to compliment her on accomplishments or good behavior. She has put effort into, as well as her manners, or a good outfit. She put on number four, prioritize your goals above her as a man. Your purpose should always come first. Most guys nowadays don't have a purpose, or throw their entire schedule out the window to see an attractive woman. They behave like hungry dogs. When you have major goals, you should honor them. If this means you need to miss out on a date with her every now and then, so be it. This will show her that this she will bring is her ego down and she will inherently respect you. Number five, don't be so eager to be with her. Most guys get too excited when they get a chance to meet an attractive woman. This also shows they lack a higher purpose as we have discussed before. Listen, listen, you can't both chase each other. When you're the one that is overly excited, you are leaving her no room to be excited about you and you force her to take a back step. This also inflates her ego. However, when you know how to control yourself and your desires, 
she will have the space to get excited about you. Instead, there will be moments where she'll start to wonder if she is the only one that feels this way. She may ask you if you aren't happy to see her when that happens. Don't lose control of yourself and start running your mouth about how you were dreaming about her. Keep it calm. This will keep her ego in check. Number six, never argue with her or get emotional. Anytime you get emotional, it shows her she has power and control over you. Don't argue with her, and if she is being unreasonable or disrespectful, take your leave. This will keep her ego in check. Number seven, never get jealous about other men around her. If she's pretty, other guys are going to flock around her. It is inevitable. Anytime you show jealousy, it reveals that you lack confidence and a better man could come and take her away. Look, if you are not around, it's free game and it's up to the woman to deny them and respect you. If she doesn't do this the right way, you should end things with her. Jealousy is an emotion and when she knows she can get you jealous, she knows she has you under her control naturally. This would inflate her ego. Number eight, don't hit her up right after you two have had a moment together. If you don't hit her up right after you've been with her, she will wonder if she has messed up. This is a good thing. It keeps her on her toes and never makes her too comfortable. Most guys will text her right away, way telling her how they had a great time and can't wait to see her again. And this leaves her no room to miss you and wonder about you once again. I'm not saying you need to play mind games here, but ask yourself, this does the man with a higher purpose start texting her about his feelings right after a date, or does he get back to chasing? His goals, most of these things come natural. If, if you, you don't have, have that yet, just ask yourself what the man with a higher purpose would do it. Is always the exact opposite of how simps act, and he, a woman's ego, in check without even trying. Number nine, reject her. Women can't handle rejection. They aren't rejected nearly as often as men are, and that is exactly why it destroys their ego. When it happens, nothing humbles a woman more than demonstrating your value as a man, and when you reject her, she will have no choice but to work harder for your time and attention. By the way, if you want to level up in life, don't forget to show some love by hitting the like and subscribe button. Till next time.